How's it going guys? Dusk Snow here and today I'll be showing you this nice interesting little glitch that uh, just so happens to give you basically infinite fertilizer without the use no that's not it without the need to have dung beetles or have the time wasted on uh, compost bins like um, and before I show you I'm very well aware that it's all over YouTube as of like right now it's kind of a big deal with uh, like some of the some of the other YouTubers have shown this but this particular um, with this particular glitch uh, and the devs are more than likely working on patching this so if you try this in a single player world and it doesn't work and it's just like oh you lied no it probably got patched because it's uh it's pretty broken in my personal opinion so first of all you want to find somewhere you want to be built at uh, to do this particular little glitch. Um, give me just a second, I have to give myself a metal pickaxe. That's not going to help me get rid of it any time faster, so I'll just throw that on the ground. Alright, so what you want to do first of all is you want to find somewhere that you want to throw this together. Um, somewhere obviously close to the water. I'm trying to find somewhere that's not obstructed by a whole bunch of rocks. So, let's see. I guess, I guess over here we'll do, I mean, there's still a lot of rocks and stuff here, but, yeah, so. I can pick up this stuff, okay, cool, so I can, let me try this then. rusty with the GFI commands. So basically what you want to do is you want to be able to um, have your toilets placed down and be able to get uh, some sort of water to them. So you want to throw down this um, intake and make sure that it's able to take in water. So I'm not sure if this one is or it isn't. I don't think it is. See, I'm not sure because of the freaking color. Hang on. GFI. figure it out whenever it comes down to it to see if it actually has water coming to it or not because like yeah so what you want to do is throw your um, intake down not yeah your intake down throw an incline and then throw your toilet for some reason that is a lot higher than it should be 
Check out. Check out. Oh wait, no, I'm, I don't know what it was. Check out. Demolish and demolish and demolish. Okay. Alright, so, there. Now it's right there on top of the ground, so what you do is you sit on the toilet. Oops. You sit on the toilet, and you poop, you jump off, you turn around, and you flush it. So, you see how it worked like that? Well, if you hop back on the toilet, it gives you the option to poop again. So what you do is you just poop, you jump off, you turn, you flush, you jump back on, you sit, you poop, you turn, and pretty much, if you can get the timing to it, you can do it a lot. Until you accidentally double poop. Or your person decides to poop. Alright, so. With that, just a couple of poops. I got six fertilizer for nothing. This is with no dung beetle or anything like that. And you can do it on official. Wouldn't recommend it, because then you're just taken away from everybody else's experience. But the way that I've seen other people doing this is, where's my pipe at? Is they'll do something on, along the lines of this. Right, well, that one's a lot further down than this one, but pretty much you put another one in front of it. And you hop on it, you take a poop, you hop off of it, you hop on the other one, you take a poop, you hop off the first one, you flush that one, you hop on, down, poop. And you can do it this way, though, to be honest, if you just do the first way, flush, pick up, demolish. If you do it the first, this way right here, where you sit on the one toilet, you poop, you jump off. It's way, way, way faster to me. But there's an even way, even faster way to do this, but I cannot personally show you because I don't have any assistance with this particular video, but you have somebody sit right here and poop. And what you do is, while this person's sitting on the toilet pooping, you have another person standing here to flush. That person will get the fertilizer. Uh, and with the fertilizer, uh, whenever he gets the fertilizer, you don't even have to jump off the toilet. You just sit here and you poop. And you sit here and you poop. And you sit here and you poop. And you sit here and you poop. But you, have to, you can't do it too fast. You have to do it along with how often the other the person picks up the fertilizer or the flushes the toilet. So you sit here and you poop. Whenever you poop, the other person standing right here, he flushes the toilet for you. The person flushing the toilet will get the fertilizer, and the other person just sits there and poops again. Flush, repeat, 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 until you decided that you're done with the fertilizer, and you don't need any more, or until next time. Um, again, it's a nice, it's, it's, it's a nice little glitch if you don't have the time to go and do the composting things, which, I mean, first of all, you're going to have to have a pooper pig or something along the lines of that, or you're going to have to have the um, patience and the resources to be able to go and tame a dung beetle, which, I mean, a dung beetle is the best route to go that's not cheating, because in my eyes, this is cheating. And wouldn't recommend doing it because just the simple fact that you're sitting there in a sense duplicating but um, that's what I wanted to show you with that um, I mean you can get fertilizer infinitely doing that it just takes time and energy um, if you was to use said Sorry, sir, but you're not welcome here. Okay. okay. So, 
now that that's out of the way. Uh, I, like I said, I wouldn't personally recommend doing this because, I mean, it's just taking the fun out of actually going and getting either a dung beetle or something. Which, to my knowledge, the only place that you can even get a dung beetle is the same place where you get these guys, which is the scar in the top left, no, top right of the screen. Not screen, top right of the map. Um, which I haven't explored I've explored only about half the map, so I don't have I don't have the expertise on um, stuff like that. But I do know the area where I was just at because it's a place where I'm built at personally on my on the server that I play on on Xbox. So um, that's the reason I wanted to go over there and record there. Um, I do know that more than likely, if you are going to take advantage of the glitch, then um, take advantage of it now while it's there versus when it's gone. But at the same time, I'm not saying, oh yeah, go do it, because it's taking away from the gaming experience for various people and like it's taking it from yourself because I mean you can just go run around and tame yourself a, um, a dung beetle they're not super hard to tame you just have to have the time and energy to go the time and resources not even time and energy the time and resources to go and snag at the uh, the um, dung beetle where am I going? It's, I don't think it's that way. I do know that, in my opinion, one of the best places for dung beetles, not dung beetles, the, one of the best places for, um... Come on, brain. Why do you keep not working? One of the best places in this game for metal unless somebody's already blocked it off like on my the server that I play on is it's blocked off there's a um a cave right over there you see where the 30 and the 40 is and there's that lake uh, all the way on the western side of the map well there's a nice little cave system over there I think it might be closer to the red orb. I'm looking for where the the broodmother spawn is on the map because there's a place that she spawns in at and I want to show you guys while I uh, have some time because I mean I the video the little quick tutorial thing took all of six seconds to show you so I want to show you something else, at least in this video, while we're just here. So it's not a complete waste of y'all's time. I'm just standing here, chilling out. I just want to show you where she spawns in at, if she's there. But she is over here in the redwoods, somewhere. Came over here a couple times uh, in the official servers. Just don't remember where exactly I went. Oh, it's right here. Okay, cool. So I. Well, I can't show you on the map, but we it's that little, it's like 70, 75, 40, the 4-ish. And you'll be able to see it from flying over. It's this giant, massive spider web thing. Oh, and she's there. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the first time 
personally seeing her on the map. Because, like, every time I go there, somebody's either killed her or she's invisible or something. But see, she's just chilling right down there. And she spawns in randomly, and you can go down there and kill her. Um, in fact, we'll go down there real quick and kill her. Or my wyvern's gonna die, which either way is fine. But see, you can literally just fly a wyvern down here. And she's not attacking me back, I think, because of um, having the um, GM buff. Let's bump up his melee damage real quick. I don't have anything in his inventory, and I don't have anything in my inventory. So we'll, we'll find out what this bad boy gets in just a second. See, the downside is, is there's no health bar or anything like that. Oh, actually, hang on. G M B U F F. So we'll just do this. Nice little number. Alright, 1900 melee damage. Let's see, I don't know how you can tell if she's dying or not. I just, I do notice that her legs has turned a different color. Personally, seeing what she drops, so. Was her legs the color the whole time, or am I just seeing things? Because I thought for sure there was another color. I'm pretty certain that there's, like, you could cheese her, in a way. Or, like, you could just sit up somewhere top, high up, and just... Okay, there we go. I got night vision goggles, and I got a banner. Not sure what else I got. Oh shit. Okay, well you can get a decent amount of kite and farmer, which I wouldn't recommend kite and farming her. Um did she give me any tech stuff? No. So you can't use her to farm tech stuff either, so go ahead and get that out of your minds. But you can go down there and kill her. There's a cave down here, actually. And you need a gas mask for it to go in it. But you go down there and you, it's where uh, some, there's a couple of the uh, artifacts that's in that cave. But you have to have a gas mask. And you have to have something that's going to be able to survive the onslaught of level 200 plus bugs the entire time, which, as fun as that is, sounds to show you guys, I personally don't want to go in that cave at all. 
Because I've seen other people go in there and get absolutely destroyed. So, um, I wish I had a way to have a little marker on the map and stuff um, to show you guys different little points of interest. But, uh, like, the map, Vergoro, or Valgaro, or whatever, however you pronounce it, to me, is probably the best arc map in the game, just because it has everything. It has some aberration in it, it has some, uh, it has some scorched earth stuff, with the wyverns and such, which also ha is in Ragnarok, but, I mean, they were originally in Scorched Earth, so I consider those Scorched Earth things, and it even says in their spawning commands about um, them being Scorched Earth, unless they've changed it, I, but it used to be Scorched Earth, because I had to type in that long behind command, and it was um, GM summon, uh, quotation mark, uh, dino blueprint, blah blah blah, scorched earth, fire wyvern. So, um, the area that I'm built at is over here. I don't know what the technical term of the thing is called. The Boreal Forest. So, the Boreal Forest is where I'm built at. I'm built at uh, where this waterfall is. In, in between this waterfall and there's another water, uh, there's two more waterfalls. It, I am built over in this region where the wyvern's head is. So, like, I have metal right there and obsidian right there. I have more metal. And more obsidian right here. There's also an oil pump that my neighbors on that particular server has. An oil vein right here. And there's two more. But I'll show you the unfortunateness on player versus environment as soon as we get over here. So you see this drop. Okay? This drop prevents anything from being put here. Because in PvE, and maybe here. Okay, no. Only in PvE. You can't build close to these. Okay? So these two oil veins in player versus environment are literally useless. Like, I have an oil pump. I didn't know this was a drop here until I uh, Reddit searched uh, what's going on with these two veins. And there's probably more veins all over the map. And there's probably a couple of them that you can't interact with. But in player versus environment, that and that is nothing. You cannot interact with those whatsoever. And it really it's very, very frustrating. Because, like, I could place one there and have my oil supply and not have to worry about other people locking them. But this is a uh, crystal cave type thing. I don't know exactly what it is. I just know that it's where I come and get a crystal from. And so, like, all of this, all of the area is a very nice area. It is extremely dangerous. Like, I don't know how much I can stress over how dangerous it is to live here. It's probably not as bad as, like, the tundra. But, super dangerous. Um, T-Rexes spawn, RGs spawn, Scorpions spawn, all that good stuff. Um, on the server that we're in, there's a person that has foundations all right up here. And then there's a per they have stuff down there as well. But right there is where I'm built at. And it's actually extremely weird to be able to see everything right here all in its natural habitat type thing. Because we have walls going all the way around to the edge of the cliff over there. And then right here, they'll come around and go to the edge of the cliff over there as well. 
So it, it, to me, it's really strange to be right here and there's not a base. And like, our base doesn't block any natural spawns or anything like that, because all except for where our main stuff is, is pillars on the inside and the outside. So like, we, st we occasionally have T-Rexes and stuff like that to pop in. And there is one more oil node very close by. I just happen have to see it. It's right here, I think. Because there's a person on the server that has it. and They actually have stuff surrounding it so other people can't demolish it. So they have to, like, be greedy, basically. But that's all I wanted to show you guys. I... I was just going to do the video with the toilet glitch, but realized that that is not going to happen. I wonder what I can one-shot. Okay, well, I can't one-shot a whatever level Bronto. Okay, so if I can't one-shot that Bronto. Let's see how many hits with over 2,000 melee damage. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. A level 130, I believe, with... How much melee does this wyvern have? Just under 2,000 melee damage. Just because I wanted to see how, mu how long it was going to take. A positive thing about wor this area, though, in the Boreal Forest, and I don't know if it's all of it or if it's just in the area, but there is good land. Oh, that was a galley. There he is. Let's knock a couple trees. These bad boys right here. Mutton. Mutton. So. It's a really good area to come over, build a little outpost or something. And, uh, like, like anywhere in the area, probably not in player versus player, just for the simple fact is how close it is to the beach and where you spawn in at the beach, because the beach is right here. And you can, whenever you pick that spawn point, you can spawn right down here, right down there, on that little island. It, Pretty much spawn is anywhere from where the wyvern's head is right now, all the way down the coast, around the bend right there, and in that little area right there where the grassy meets the tundra, which that part is the worst part to spawn in at, because you will probably die a handful of times by um, wolves and stuff. One of the coolest things on this map, though, in my opinion, is the fact that you can find these dead bodies of... I must have hit both of them at the same time. Of the turtles and of the uh, dolphins, because... I don't remember that ever really being a thing, but early game, especially if you have no dinos, it is the best way and fastest way to get spoiled meat, because all you have to do is run up to it. If you have a dino or something, chomp on it. If you don't have a dino, and you just have something else, and just smack it until you get the spoiled meat. But I mean, I got 144 spoiled meat, and probably a third, two thirds of this. So, but anyway, guys. Um, I just wanted to do this quick little tutorial thing. Um, if you want to see it, it's going to be on uh, YouTube in probably five or six minutes. But just a recap on what how all happened. Um, the toilet glitch where you can do it by yourself. Or you can have another person help you. If you have another person help you, it's like... 200% faster than if you was by yourself. And then I went and showed where the broodmother is and what stuff, what one of the drops was from her. 
and you're not you don't have to go and grind out resources to spawn her in so I, I understand why she kind of just drops nothing and then of course the uh, the little mini tour basically of the area so thank you guys for stopping by uh, if you did like the video like always leave a like if you want to talk to me or something leave a comment in the comment section um, share with your friends and I'll see you guys in the next one alright